hello everyone this is my first video on infinite series and today i'm going to explain what do you mean by a sequence a sequence of numbers is a function whose domain is a set of natural numbers so sequence is what it is a function whose domain is a set of natural numbers so let's suppose a it is a sequence going from n to x here this n denotes the set of natural numbers and this a is the sequence this n is the domain of the set of a function sorry and x is the codomain and a in bracket n this is a range set now what do you mean by a range set it is nothing but the images of the set of natural numbers so here a is a sequence going from n to x and this an is a range set of this sequence since we know that domain set is infinite in nature so therefore our sequence also has infinitely many elements so sequence is always infinite this is always infinite however range set may be finite a1 it's a first term of the sequence a2 it's a second term of the sequence a3 is the third term of the sequence and so on an represents the nth term of the sequence sometimes we also represent the sequence of the form a and n thus an represents the nth term of the sequence and in this bracket if we write down an then this denotes the sequence an without this bracket if we just write an that is the nth term of the sequence so this is the difference if we just write a n this is denotes the nth term however if we write the sequence in brackets then that is the sequence further if a n is given to us then we can define the whole sequence that means if a n is known to us you just substitute the value of n and you will have the sequence for example if a n is 1 over n where n is a natural number now you can substitute the value of n and you will have the sequence so when you put n to be 1 you will have a1 is 1 a2 is half a3 is 1 by 3 and so on so the sequence will be 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 and so on this is your sequence when your nth term is 1 over n for example if you are given nth term as n square where n is a natural number then we can define the sequence as write down the first term by putting n to be 1 so a1 is 1 a2 is 2 square a3 is 3 square so the sequence will be 1 2 square 3 square until up to n square so this is our sequence now just see one more example let's suppose the nth term is given to us minus 1 to the power n where n is natural number when you put n to be 1 your a1 will be minus 1 when you put n to be 2 your a1 will be minus plus 1 a3 will be minus 1 a4 will be plus 1 and so on so your sequence is minus 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 and so on so this is a sequence now the next is the convergence of a sequence how to define the convergence of a sequence so let's suppose a sequence a n this is given to us a n this sequence is said to be convergent if convergent to a number l if for given epsilon greater than 0 there exists a positive 
integer small m such that the mod of a n minus l is less than epsilon for all n greater than equals to m. So once again see what is given to you. You are given the sequence a n. You are given a number l. Your sequence a n is approaching to l whenever this difference is very very small. Whenever your n is very very large your n is greater than equal to m means your n is very very large so after leaving m minus 1 terms your sequence is approaching to l and here l is the limit of the sequence the another way to find out the convergence you just find out the limit of a n as an approaching to infinity if it is finite and unique number say l then you say that your sequence a n is convergent and it converges to a number l where l is the limit now just see by using this diagram let's suppose this is domain set along the x-axis and sequence points are along y-axis and they are scattered till up to 5 and after 5 they are approaching to a number means the difference between a n and l that is very very small so that means our sequence terms they are approaching to a number l so that means our sequence is converging to l but after leaving five terms so after leaving this five term over the whole sequence is approaching to l so that is the definition of convergence that means the limit n going to infinity a n is l whenever this is finite and unique we will say our sequence is convergent if no such L exist, then we say that the sequence A n is not convergent. And also sometimes we can call this as it is divergent. So whenever this number L doesn't exist, we will say that our sequence is not convergent. For example, let's suppose the a n sequence is given to us 1 by n and we have check we have to check the behavior of this sequence whether it is convergent or not so we will find out the limit of nth term which is 1 over n this is 1 by infinity so you will have this is 0 which is finite and unique number so therefore our sequence a n this is convergent and 0 is the limit of this sequence so that means it converges to 0 now just see one more example let's suppose we have to check the behavior of the sequence a n n square so you just find out the limit of nth term as an approaching to infinity it will be infinity which is not finite so therefore our sequence is not convergent now just see one more example let's suppose a n is given to us minus 1 to the power n this sequence is convergent or not so we will find out the limit of this limit n approaching to infinity minus 1 to the power n now this limit does not exist because it is not unique either it approaching to 1 or minus 1 depending n is odd or n is even so therefore our sequence is not convergent okay so whenever we have the different limits the sequence is not convergent now just see one more example let's suppose the nth term is given to us as n plus 1 by n so we will find out the limit of nth term and when you find the limit n approaching to infinity of this you will have this limit will be 1 since it is finite and unique therefore our sequence is convergent and 1 is the limit of this sequence 